Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome to our uh, members meeting here. Today, i like to share about uh, some new initiative that uh, we're going to actually launch out uh, for our member. So this uh, will include our leading training program. So is everybody ready? Uh, Ling Ying, are you okay now? Can, we, can I start? Or Atlas? I cannot hear you. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay, then I'll just do, uh, because it's at two, uh, we are doing recording. So for those that actually miss out the, the, the presentation, right, they can actually come back and uh, request, we will like uh, make it available for them to watch again. So I'll just go straight to the, we'll share the uh, PowerPoint now. Okay. So today uh, I'm going to talk about like two, two initiatives that we are going to start. First and foremost, uh, we will cover like the book data training program. Uh, secondly, we will cover the SBPA learning hub. This is something new. And uh, of course, uh, I'd like to share last but not least the members directory. We are hoping that our members can come in uh, a bit more aggressively with us on this. Okay, so um, I'm very glad uh, to announce that uh, we have actually get the support from uh, ESG uh, to develop and um, to, let me see. Uh, let me, you can hear me, right? All can hear me, right? <laughs> okay, to develop and manage uh, a, a book data system that actually uh, the whole project actually worth about like uh, close to half a million, close to half a million. So uh, technically it will be ready by 2022. So it takes about two years uh, to actually uh, to do this uh, projects. Okay, so what exactly is a book data system? So basically a book data system is an online data system that provide uh, integrated solution to allow book sellers and book buyers uh, to save a lot of time, more efficient and, you know, um, enable even consumers, you know, to do search on your products, on your, on your books. Yeah. So it actually uh, facilitates the search functions. Secondly, the system can also support a modern stand, uh, the mo modern standard of uh, Onyx. Onyx is actually an international uh, standard format. Uh, 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 to allow publishers to provide the, the information, the book information to be transmitted in a seamless way from multiple trading partners. I will actually elaborate a bit more later on this. And uh, lastly, it will also allow uh, our publishers to upload their book details and make it available uh, for the buyers to download as like a catalog. So um, you can actually generate and copy, print, or even say email exactly. So uh, the data, the metadata can be used for website and internet in, internal system as well. So let's uh, take a look at this, okay? So you can see that from these systems that we are going to develop, I think in the past, you know, when you actually want to actually upload something on a website, you have to do it manually. You want to actually uh, provide uh, the information to Amazon. They'll tell you, you know, we need all next, you know, different field and all this. So it's like quite, quite a, a difficult task to do if you actually make it uh, manually. So right now with this system here, you are going to actually send it to them with a press or a button and that's it, okay? So it will be very, very helpful to have this system. And this book data system, we have been talking about it like since day one and you know, and finally we managed to get the funding to actually uh, create this for our industry. Okay, so what do you, why do you need uh, this system? That is because you want to sell more books and you really, beside having the system, the next thing you need to know is actually how to actually have an effective book data system, a uh, book data, how to create an effective book data. So let me just put this here, just speak. Metadata is the backbone of the book publishing industry. Without it, publishers can't sell books to retailers and book sales suffer tremendously. And with the rise of ebooks, it's even more important for publishers and self published authors to understand how to create quality metadata to help. So, like, I think uh, it actually shared that uh, it's very important, especially at this moment. Uh, a lot of uh, books did quite well uh, on the online platform. Yeah. So, what is uh, metadata? Okay. So you can see that it actually is the data that describes your book. So maybe I can give you an example, like for example, you actually have a company website. So for people to find you, right, you have to actually put your, in your information. You have to create a website with all your information so that people can contact you. 
they can find you. And sometimes you even pin it onto a Google map so that people know how, the, how to actually get to see you, how to travel to see you. So for book data, it's actually a system that is actually created for book. So you actually put all your description, you describe your book in this metadata so that they can find you. Another very good example is like in the past, in the olden days, when you actually uh, put, uh, you know, in the library, when you actually have a book in the library, they will have like departments, you know, or you have to, let's say, for example, you're looking for a guidebook or a cookbook. So you have to go to the department and you have to search one by one. But right now, because of the computer system, okay, because of the metadata, people can actually uh, more effectively more effectively uh, look for your book or the type of book that they want, okay? So that is the description of your book. So the metadata also tell the librarian or the bookseller, where is your book? You know, where is it located? How to get you, okay? Metadata sell your book to consumer online. So because of this metadata, you are able to transmit all the information to the bookseller, let's say for example, Amazon. And then from the Amazon, with a good book data uh, information, the consumer can be effectively, you know, can find your book easily. Because sometimes they may not know the title of your book, but they know the description or the contents that they want to read or the authors that they want to follow. So this, this information are very important. So besides that, metadata also provide, like, it works like a search engine. It's like a Google search engine. So they can actually, uh, with a good uh, information, in in fact, for Google, it's the same thing. If you can actually uh, put in the keywords, you know, the important keywords, and you will see that, you know, uh, EU holidays came, in, came out. So EU has already spent a lot of effort to actually optimize their name so that whenever people actually search for Europe tour, their name came in out first. So, so same being put inside the inform, uh, the the onyx or the field, and then people will be able to actually uh, look for your book easily. Okay, they actually tell you also after getting all this data uh, create. You don't actually go to different platform with, with different content, okay? Different information or different description. So that will actually uh, facilitate uh, the search as well as uh, facilitate to, to help your book being discovered. Yeah. Okay. So why why we need to do? Uh, we felt that still uh, quite a lot of them uh, doesn't know. What kind of information? Uh, what, what kind of how it works? How it helps? You know to sell more books. So that's why we have uh, created these three uh, online uh, book data classes by expert. It's not just uh, a one way. You know online. They, they are going to conduct in classes so you can have like Q and A question and answer. You know to help you understand a bit more. So we created three online classes scattered out is about like three hours uh, each class and after that you it will actually come with a 12-month online learning platform for you to actually do your self-study you know there will be nine subjects for you to learn and also you will also be uh, certified you know when you actually complete all the courses and each company we will also be given two accounts so not just uh, maybe the senior management but maybe the operation uh, 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 operators that they, they need to key in and they also need to understand what is this uh, book data system about. So, and uh, of course, right now we have a special uh, promotion. The, the, the amounts that you actually invest, like the $100 for two person, is actually going to be uh, a discount for you later on when you actually subscribe the book data system service. And of course, um, hands-on training class, okay? So when we actually start our book data, book data system, we will also actually uh, provide training class by our consultants. So all these services and free freebies that actually come in, it only costs you $100, but it's actually for two persons, so it's like $50. So actually, it's actually worth around eight, uh, $850 because the whole system, um, for this training program, we spend about like $16,000 to, 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 to do this. So let me just uh, play the metadata is the lifeblood of the publishing industry. Whether you work for a publisher, run your own publishing house, or are a self-published author, the data you send out to retailers and other partners is what drives the sales of your books. 
In this course our industry expert speakers will take you through what metadata is, how it works, and how to create metadata of the highest quality for your books. So if you're ready, do sign up the course now. Okay, the first class that uh, we're going to conduct is uh, building awareness, okay? So they will actually uh, share with you like how best practice, you know, metadata can increase, how it can actually help you to increase your book sales. In fact, I have a book publisher came to me and said, Cecilia, uh, you know, I put my book out in Amazon and Lazada. I never even sell one book, okay? So it could be the data that she actually put in is not uh, detailed enough or you know it did not express enough description is is uh, does not uh, fix to their books you know match the books that's why uh, it never uh, actually reach out to the consumer she even tell me that uh, she she searched her own book she can't find you know so something went wrong so with this course I think uh, it's very interesting and they they are able to actually uh, share with you like how you can actually increase your book sales and of course, uh, we have a uh, we have our expertise, lah. You know, uh, Peter's uh, Schubert is going to come in to actually share and roll out this project with us. Yeah. So the second um, the second class we will be talking about designing a book database uh, for Singapore. So why is this uh, book data uh, ESG is like uh, funding us this project is because this whole project is going to support Singapore publishers. So let's say you are a Malaysia publisher or somewhere else, you know, you, you can't get uh, to assess this, this uh, uh, data. And all this data, right, we will invite like librarians, you know, book, sell, book sellers to, to come in to, to search your book. So that is why um, it will definitely, uh, you know, uh, increase the, the sales, your book sales as well. Yeah, because it will be uh, effectively uh, being discovered with, you know, the targeted audience, yeah, the buyer, yeah. And, uh, okay, before I go to the, the next thing, it's like uh, our our Melvin, okay, from Alcom, Melvin uh, will actually uh, come in to actually describe this. He's a leading, uh, leading uh, distributor uh, in Singapore, and he has been uh, managing this database for the longest time. He's, uh, he has, um, corporate uh, buyers, library buyers, you know, he handled a and NLP and things like that. So I, I'm very sure uh, with this class here, you will be able to actually uh, find out how to actually get your books, more books into the library or, you know, or into schools and etc. Yeah. So the next thing is uh, we will also actually share with you how to uh, make the data work for you. So publisher can use this data to improve decision making around marketing and also product development. So this is another uh, very uh, important areas. So we would like to actually um, strengthen the, the our publishers uh, in in this data data book data areas. Yeah. They want to actually learn this at your own time and your own pace, okay? You need to really, um, like the 10 practice tips to improve your, your metadata. So this is the online system. I will talk a little bit more how this thing works, but these are the subjects that is going to be available free for, for anyone that sign up for this course. Okay, so this is some market news. I think it's a lot of bad news. <laughs> Okay, since last year, you can see that there is a lot of our bookstore is closing. But however, during this COVID, there is a lot of uh, good news about book being sold online. So that's why we felt that uh, the book data system uh, is a bit late, like two years later. But I think now, right now, we should actually uh, gear up uh, to actually uh, manage uh, our book data system by learning how to describe them. Yeah, so there's this news uh, even from uh, yes, 13th of September from this book actually, they also intend to close down their, their store and then just focus on online. So being online, you know, anything that is um, people cannot feel, people cannot touch like a book, right? So the information, the detail, the descriptions is are all very important. So that is why uh, this book data course is uh, a training course is actually being in place for our 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 publishers. Okay, 
So even in uh, LA, they also the bookstore is also closing down. It's not just Singapore. Their bookstore is also closing down, and it's so important right now. It's like to know um to know how to put your book onto the you know into digital format and online uh, for for people to search you and actually uh to buy you. I hope uh with this uh information you know um our publishers are keen to 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 come on board with us. Yeah, it is we, we actually will spend a lot a lot of time on this this subject. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um maybe I want to stop this uh sharing. So uh is there any uh questions uh from uh, our publishers here, our members here? Any questions for me? Hi Betty, nice to see you here. Hi Jay, nice to see you here. Joseph. Hi, hi Cecilia. Okay, if not then I want to Hello, hello, hello. Okay, thank you for supporting me. Anyway, this program is on recording. Okay, for those uh, members that they have missed out, they can still go uh, online to, uh, we will share the video clip with them. So if not, then I will just move on to the SBPA uh, Learning Hub. Uh, and this is going to, ama is amazing. Okay, it's amazing. Yeah, let me just share. So that's where we stop, right? Okay, so what is this SBPA Academy Learning Hub? Okay, this training program uh, is actually a award winning training program in the UK. IPG is actually uh, 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 associations that for all the writers, for the, all the publishers. So they created this platform, which is about 100 over uh, subjects for our publishers to learn. Okay, so it's a self study course and you learn it at your own time and your own pace because um, I I, I did, I did, uh, honestly, I just did a, a, a paper for, for my uh, digital marketing study. It cost me like $10,000, you know, $10,000 to get this uh, uh, paper, you know, these certificates on digital marketing. So, however, okay, for this, it's going to cost you much, much lower because it's, again, uh, you will be funded. Okay, that is very good for Singaporeans. Uh. <laughs> okay, so what is this, uh, uh, this, uh, SBPA uh, learning hub or about okay there is about like you can see from here there is about 114 subjects in this whole uh, system whereby you can actually sharpen the, your, your, your publishing skills by uh, you know learning at your own pace okay so our subjects right we actually come into uh, six uh, main uh, sections Okay, we have the essential. The essential is actually a multiple uh, unit of courses that design uh, for a particular area of topic. And they are actually slightly longer. They are in uh, seven to eight units, a range of supporting material. And they have like uh, exercise and tests to help you to actually get the grip of what you need to know. Yeah, so this is a slightly heavy, uh, sub uh, heavier subjects for, for, for uh, members like, like to know a bit more. Then we have the master class. This actually have a wide range of ideas, advice, guidance, design, update, information to inspire uh, our members. And uh, it's very easy uh, to assess and uh, it's uh, slightly shorter the, than the essential. And we have uh, actually a quick pick, you know, <laughs> like a quick pick, 10 top tips. This one were available across all the subjects uh, in a very uh, snippet, uh, a short uh, uh, study. So it's like a one page, you know, you can actually learn the 10 tips. So it's like a very short refreshment, uh, refresh uh, courses. Then we have resources for information. Okay, then we have the number five, which is a book data. This area of information is exclusive for our members that sign up for the book data. So that anytime they feel that they want to refresh some information, you know, they can actually go back and study on this book data. And last but not least, we have a SBPA channel. This is uh, um, the basic uh, training program that we actually created for our interns and it's being recorded and um, it's uh, very interesting. And uh, so let's say, for example, you have new staff that come in, they did not go to our internship, they can actually still attend this, uh, this uh, SBPA channel. So this is actually um, on a video concept, okay, on a video concept. So these are the essential uh, topics that you have, like publicity, you learn about finance, you learn about like, so it's actually suitable for uh, even management, for management or for, for, for junior 
um, uh, editors that actually can come in to, 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 to read this subject. Then we have a master class um, and then um, we have uh, the 10 top tips. Okay, I will show you the detail. I'll show you detail how to go in. Okay, so I need to stop this. Okay, so what happened is uh, we have a uh, Yeah, can everybody see? So when you actually go into our this link, right? You can apply, you can sign, you can sign in. So you can sign in and then you will actually get to your page. But before you sign, what we have? Okay, they have uh, some uh, information. Then you can re register to access here. Then you can see the description is all here. Okay, then you can see more about book data courses. So this homepage, but more important is the learner. So you see that I have already signed in. Okay, so each uh, members that sign up, right, they will have two account. Okay, so it's like buy one, get one free. So you have two person can sign in. Uh, uh, we'll give you an email with a password that you can sign in. And then from here, you can see that there is actually 114 uh, subjects that is available for you to study. And uh, I have take up 10, I completed two. So this is the, just a summary and how much time I spent on it. Okay, so these are the subjects that I have uh, picked and uh, these are the subjects that I have completed. Okay. So let's look, okay, further. So let's say for example, uh, publishing strategy. You talk about branding. So when you talk about branding, they will have subjects that they actually teach you about branding. Okay. So if you move on to essential, they got marketing and publicity, you know, talk about sales. In fact, I, I noticed that it's a lot of um, subject that is on sales. Okay. To teach you how to actually six way to use data to drive your sales. So these are all the very good subjects that, uh, you know, you can actually uh, pick up. Okay. Then they have the top 10 tips of our business strategy, of our data and IT, of our sales and distribution. So these are quite interesting. Yeah, how to pitch to retailer buyers. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay. So uh, so let's say I want to start the course. Okay, I'm, I'm just demonstrating, okay. So you want to start the course. So they will tell you that um, further information so you can move, so you can read from here. They got tips. Okay, so you can move on and move on. And then you can actually exit. So this is the top 10 tips that is very short. Okay, that is very short. Okay, so um, let's say for example, so I've completed the top 10 tips for pitching to a retail buyers. Okay, so it's, it's very easy and it's not difficult to do to study. So like for example, I want to view the cost of the book data. So these are the subject for all the book data. How to improve. View details. Um, my computer is not working very well. <laughs> okay, so so like I said, they have so many subjects. You can assess the course anytime. So let's say you can start the course now. So this is the student that I want to start on this course. So they will have information like be realistic. Still, you can read, you know, and then you can read further. Then you can move on the next lesson. And then you can move on the sixth session. So it's complete. So being so easy to, 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 to pick up. It's not a, a lot of long, long study. Yeah, sales and distributions, for example. So you can just start. So it's like at your time, at your pace, and it's very easy to actually um, assess. 
So they have resources over here. They will tell you, like ask the expert, they have notes. So it's, it's quite interesting, I would say. Yeah, it's very interesting. So let's say we go back to the lesson, okay. How should I sell to an independent? Okay, how should I deal with uh, online retailers? So they have all these relevant subjects that is actually tailored for our publishers. So it's a uh, pretty uh, useful and I'm sure we want to be an expert in all this area. Yeah, so um, let me just share uh, my slide. So I actually introduced the home page um, and then followed by the our dashboard. So the dashboard will, will be the page that you can access anything except for the book data uh, information will be assessed by people or uh, our members that sign up. So you can see from here, okay, you have 12 months of online learning with 100 over subjects. Okay, you can get certificates whenever you actually participate the essential courses. And you do get actually monthly learning bulletin that means it's like an e-newsletters to give you update of market news and also what is new in in the portal so that you can help and let's say for example you need any support this portal will also uh, have a helpline you know then the ipg will mentally uh, mentoring scheme whereby they will share uh, with you like uh, you know to help you in, in some way yeah so um so we also throwing uh invite invite our our members okay for forum and all this for this. So for all this subject right, it's only five hundred and fifty dollars, and uh you have um in fact uh, during uh it was last month uh, when I launched it, uh when NAC they have uh and uh, IMDA they have some um grant that can support uh, this program. But uh, we will actually uh, talk to them again, see how we can actually get them to support our this program. So for two members, like buy one, get one free, that means for $550, you actually can entitle to two accounts, to two accounts. So means that um, it will be actually uh, very uh, cost effective because it's like for 12 months and the two person can actually take their own times to study. Yeah. So this is the picture of the certificate. This is the newsletter that we will actually send out to you every month. Like they will tell you like what are the new courses that's coming. Yeah. Uh, Cecilia, I think uh, there are some questions in the chat box. Maybe we can address oh, okay. them. Can, yeah. can, can. Yeah. So can I help? What is the question? Hey, uh, hey Cecilia. Yeah. Ying, ying, yes, go ahead. Feel free, feel free to ask. Hey Cecilia, is this going to be a course on book data or are you showing us the the learning hub stuff? I mean, it, the learning hub stuff is great, but like, is there, I mean, is there an instructor coming in to teach us about book data? Are you going to, are you going to present more details about the upcoming book data system? Like, okay. is this a course about book data? Okay, this, this is not a book, it's an introduction, okay? Ah, yeah, so okay, what, okay. Uh, okay. I get it. I'm, Okay, the last round, I think a lot of uh, members, uh, when I actually share this uh, during the AGM, right, they are saying, Cecilia, what is this book data system about? So I, I thought it would be quite good if I actually share with, um, you know, the members, like, you know, if you, if you sign up for the course, which is $100 for two person, and then um, we will have classroom, uh, like classroom, Zoom classroom uh, course that is actually, we have an instructor, you know, we have a consultant set to come in to talk. I don't think I am the expert to do this area, but I know yeah, how yeah. important is this to all the publishers. So we hope that after this presentation, um, you know, you can actually uh, join us and then uh, express your interest and let us arrange, uh, see how we can actually do it uh, as soon as possible. Yeah. What's because happening this, in the uh, book data project, uh, Cecilia? Maybe can you share with us like a bit of the timeline that we can expect? Because I think like for a lot of us, we're waiting to see what comes out, right? Because what's being promised is a title management system that applies to the Singapore yeah. market. Then, I mean, yeah. why don't you share with us like what the, you know, what the estimated timeline is? Like, you know, when can publishers start to get on board? Um, what can we do to prepare? Um, okay, like I um, our first task is to actually do the book 
uh, training course. So uh, that is the part. But at the same time, we have already uh, sent out a tender. We have appointed our vendors uh, to actually start the projects. But the project is um, quite a bit task. Okay, quite a bit task. So they, we actually have two years to do to, to, to do this, including uh, the testing and all this. So it, it looks like uh, by next year, next year, uh, most of the thing will be up, and then we will be inviting all our members to come in to actually uh, to participate in this program. Yeah. But right now we, we, we need to start uh, get uh, get time for the developers to write out the program. Yeah. So uh, okay. Way, so so the publishers don't we we basically were not expected to. Um, as in the system or what the platform is not ready yet la, and will be only onboarded to something say like next year, end of next year. Yeah. But it's okay. actually, it's going to be like next year, but it's actually important that our publishers know about this book data right now because it's ongoing because even like your current information like how you i mean you've been publishing uh, titles like ongoing right so this is just the first step of the thing that um the the, the description the data to be prepared so yeah, uh, yeah i mean i think all the publishers here like we all use metadata it's like i think we're all very keen to see more industry standardization but uh, you know like i mean mainly i wanted to find out kind of uh you know like you know you shared about the project uh, the timeline. So maybe um, you can also share with us like how publishers will actually work with this system. Like, you know, like say, yeah, like like what is this book the future book data system going to be, and how are publishers going to uh, play a role in it? Or you know, is it like soft? Is is that going to be software developed? Um, yeah, like. What like it's something separate from training la, you know, it's it's a title management system. Is it gonna be a cloud based platform? You know, is it going to be linked to our booksellers? Definitely, definitely. But I guess that is why uh we need to roll out the course for our members to understand why is this book data system first, how these things work. That is why the second, I think the second uh, uh, class, the second class that we are doing, uh, Melvin will be coming on board. So all these questions, you can actually post it to him and he will be able to share a lot more. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. And Melvin honestly, not here, right? No, no. no Melvin not here. here. He's going to kill okay, you. I'll, I'll... He know that uh, all our publishers uh, is very excited about this uh, program and you all want to actually know a lot more, okay? But I need to coordinate. I cannot have like uh, only like, you know, handful of uh, you to, to come in. So I need to recruit uh, members to, to really attend this class first so that all can actually, uh, you know, start on the same page and then we can start off to understand what is it about, yeah. So this year we will actually plan like three classes and next year we will have three classes within the first quarter or the first half of the year and then we will roll out. In fact, uh, there will be some practical uh, subjects, uh, I mean a hands-on uh, hands program uh, will be actually uh, to, to, to for our members as well. Yeah, so there will be some hands-on program as well. So all together there will be like six classes to to. to to roll out but for this year we have three and we know that november december definitely is a very uh busy time so we try to actually launch it like in finish up this three training program within like september and then uh, october so then november december then we can actually focus more on our sales yeah and sales yeah so if not then you know it'll be very destructive yeah so that is the reason why i really appreciate I really appreciate all of you to, to join us, join me today. Yeah, although it may not be uh, too much of information to share, but I really cannot, cannot uh, teach unless I'm an expert. So that's why I need to organize this to get the experts to come in to actually, uh, I need at least like 20 yeah. people. Yeah. So if, I, if let's I, say I can yeah. have a comment or from this whole pool, I already have like, um about like i'm almost got 20 if let's say each company is sending two person to this class so i can roll out i can straight away start this class and we want to finish it within three weeks and we just move on to focus on sales and then next year beginning of next year okay we will start on, Cecilia, on the subject 
Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. thanks. Uh, no, I think, I think, I th- oh, uh, I think what's helpful is in what's helpful is if um say like you know when we say this is a book data course, I think of course all of us don't ha- as in you know we don't come in expecting you to necessarily be like the expert on Onyx and all that because you don't use it yourself. But then I think it's helpful if you share with us a bit more details about uh kind of like how yeah like how we can start. Um, preparing for this industry-wide um, project that's happening. But anyway, yeah, la, thanks for the presentation. I'll take note. And uh, of course, um, like I said, my whole objective for this class, uh, I want to be very transparent. So I, I can't teach, but I want to actually encourage members to join into the the the, the book data class, which is we are planned three for it. And it's not very costly, and we hope that uh, with that class, it's kind of like commitment, lah. I mean, the, for the price, just a like commitment from your side, for all the members to come together to to know, you know, to start um on this project uh, uh, with us, yeah, to start the project with us, yeah, because it's um like I say, it's a very big project. It's not something that is like ten twenty thousand kind of like projects, so. To get our members to be ready, right? Uh, commitment level is there. Not not just to to attend the class, you know. Putting the information into the book data system is another area of a commitment. Yeah, yeah. So I really, I'm sure we're all. I think we're all going to be committed to it once it's as if it's an industry wide standardization exercise, right? I'm sure everyone's going to be very committed. But I think what's really helpful is if let's say the vendor creating the software conducts these courses, or like say. Uh, Melvin, sure, sure, sure. Even, you know, someone who knows the nuts and bolts of what's happening in this project, because that's much more helpful to us publishers. La. I mean, the learning course, of course, you know, we're all going to be committed. La. Like, don't worry, like, you know, we need, the industry needs this one. Right? So, so let's say, for example, we, if, let's say I'm, I'm trying to organize, uh, I'm trying to get Peter to, to, to come about to talk. On the 30th, can I expect, um, you know, at least uh, all the publishers that attend my class today can actually come in to, to join, at least two person to join this this class. Yeah. So I can say, actually... Yeah, it really uh, depends on what the content of that course is going to be. Because if it's like, say today, right, it's an introductory uh, course, I'm not sure I will get my... I say, I'm not sure what the point would be for me and my colleagues to join um, a presentation unless uh, we, we know what the educational and takeaway point is, uh, you know. Okay. So let's say, for example, uh, I like to share this thing. Uh, um, is actually we are going to talk about this all these subjects here. This is the first class for for Peter to share. So, do you think it's uh, good enough the areas that we cover? Yep, sounds great. I'm going to join that class. Okay. Yeah. So thanks. Good. The second class is uh, going to actually, uh, we're going to talk about the Singapore. So this one is the, of course, uh, Melvin is going to talk about the book data system for Singapore. So this one is just as important. Yeah. Okay. Then um, the third area is how this can data can work for you. So I'm I'm sorry if let's say my 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 message to all of you are not that clear. But my whole objective, like now, I, I really want to convince uh, all of you to actually come on board with me, okay, on this uh, project. I would like to learn together with you as well, so that uh, we can actually, um, actually move much faster than before, yeah. So, um, let me see, uh, what's my last slide? <laughs> Okay, my last slide is uh, actually quite simple. We start c- talking about uh, my directory that uh, is going to actually launch. So um, 
Yuri is going to send out uh, all the information uh, details to you all and then I uh, hope you all can actually help us to provide us the updated information like new address or photograph. You think that's not nice, you want to actually have a new photograph and everything uh, to us. Uh, also quite a pre uh, tight timeline, okay, so that uh, we can actually get the book out by November. Actually, here is 15 October, but I think safely uh, to say by November we will get it out. Yeah, so uh, with that, uh, let me see, you all have any question on this? What's the price again? What, 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 what is the price, uh, Joey? Joey, what uh, do you mean by what is the price? Is Joey there? Hi, Joey. Okay, I cannot hear you. Um, in this case, uh, can I come back to you on the price? Uh, whether you are referring to the book data or the or the uh, academy, the academy uh, projects, yeah, and um, pay one subscription fee annually, all the 14 costs, yes, yeah, it's true, you only pay one time subscription fee and the whole uh, of a uh, whole next year, you can actually uh, learn your courses uh, all at FOC, yeah. Okay, thank you, Joey. So, um, can I just uh, share whether you have any more questions? Hi, Yi Hong, nice to see you here. Yeah. Anyone else? Do you all have any more questions? Because uh, this is a very short uh, presentation, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. And uh, lastly, I want to thank you for joining me. And um, I have all your names here. Uh, I will actually uh, sign up for you. <laughs> I will come back to you uh, on the schedule, uh, which is uh, end of this month, how uh, Peter can actually uh, conduct the class. But like I said, uh, we have a minimum numbers to go. Yeah. So my minimum number is like 20 people. So maybe for each company, you can actually send to yourself and maybe uh, the operator, you know, or your administrations uh, to, to attend this so that they can also can understand what is it about. Yeah or editor or your marketing, they can also come in. So just let me know when uh, uh, I will come back to you on this and uh, let me know your attendance. Lah. Yeah. Okay. Is there any more questions? Ling, any more questions? No more questions? So, Yuri, are you there? Can you hear me? Ah? Because it's so quiet. <laughs> Can you unmute? Can you hear me actually, Yuri? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. Thank you very much, Jay, that you are supporting the class. Joseph, thank you very much. Oh, you want the recording link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, uh, my, my assistant will actually uh, share with you. Um, I think the recording link will be good so that I can share it out and, and check with them. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you very much. Uh, we have recorded, so we will actually uh, edit a bit lah, <laughs> and then we will send it out uh, to, to all of you. Um, and I try to organize the class as soon as possible That uh, because uh, this is something that uh, we, we understand that November, December is going to be very busy. Uh, so we can actually concentrate uh, this uh, these two months and it's quite a good timing, I would say, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Adapt Learning also taking taking uh taking up yeah so really appreciate um okay so any more other questions no more questions okay uh in fact uh i'm available uh Yurik is available and i have another assistant called one he is also available feel free to call our our office line hotline you know we can actually uh, answer your your your, your queries and uh, take down your registrations yeah take down your registration okay so uh without further ado i think i will end this thing and i hope you have a good day uh and i will see you all again soon yeah i think i missed out something more let me see, yeah. Okay, I, I missed out something. I missed out the last slide. Okay. Okay, what is coming up? 
Okay, what is coming up? We were planning uh, two, two, two things that is uh, coming up in November. So we are probably uh, planning for a Singapore Book Bazaar, a virtual Book Bazaar, and also an inter-industry mixer session with the APRO. Especially um, if you have a good story and you hope to be, to, to be turn it into screen or TV or series, that will be a meeting uh, with the APRO. APRO is uh, the uh, production house, yeah. And then there will be a meeting, uh, the, it's actually a three-day course that actually will also meet up with uh, media owner like uh, Media Corp and uh, some other uh, uh, TV stations. Lah. So that is, uh, is being in place. So um, if you hear anything like this, do uh, join us yeah, on this thing, yeah, which I think is uh, going to be very fruitful for all of you. Yeah. Ling Ling, you got any question for that two for grad? <laughs> I'll join her, but I mean, I hope you can share with us like who is the who is conducting the course, you know, like I'm sure if all the like you guys send out an email and let all the members know and it's helpful to us, we'll definitely join. Okay, okay. What about the virtual book fair? Do you have any opinion on this? Yeah. Okay, we, we had actually uh, two, two, one round of uh, book, uh, I think World Book Day, we did one round of uh, AMP uh, to promote. So far, we, we don't really have uh, actually a lot of uh, information on that. So apparently, I did some survey and I noticed that uh, the last round, the Singapore Book Fair, they actually did uh, a two platform. One platform for e-commerce and one platform for just uh, activities. So uh, we also uh, do some research around the region like Thailand, you know, they have a very successful book fair with one platform, but there is an e-commerce uh, uh, facility uh, over that, that platform as well. And uh, some other book fair, they don't have that facility. So I also want to have some feedback from our publishers here. Do you all like to have like a, a platform that has an e-commerce or do you all prefer to direct like, um, like the consumers to go and buy direct with uh, your, your website, for example, direct with you? What do you think? Yi Hong, you got any comments on this? Yi Hong? Um, well, I mean, typically we are directing back to our website, so I mean, we're, we're doing that quite quite frequently, huh? unless um, unless we're doing any joint events with a bookseller, then, th then of course we're obligated to, um, to push the sales oh. back. Huh? But mm -hmm. again, with the booksellers, it's difficult. I had a long conversation with Kino Punia just two days ago. You know, when, when you're doing a virtual event, people come from all over the place. Even if the bookseller supports, they cannot actually guarantee, and nobody can guarantee that, you know, the sales can be bounced back to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, even, even if it doesn't come back to publisher, they may go to, let's say, you know, we do a keynote, it may go to Times or whatever. So, um, typically the booksellers, I think they would appreciate it if we, if we, the publishers, um, point, uh, point the sales to them. Um, maybe not, not a particular one, uh, if your books are with Kino, with Times, with Popular, point to all of them. I think they will appreciate that, uh, but I think they, they have some reservations about how much of it they can get. I see. Okay, uh, for me, I was thinking, um, because I, I went to all the options, I was... Hello? Yes, uh, any, any feedback? Yes. Currently, uh, I'm uh, actually running my uh, live, uh, live sales on my Facebook. And uh, concurrently, we are running the offer for Lazada, the campaign. So the campaign actually, uh, it sounds very good. Uh, the sales return is not bad to us because that I believe when you 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 have an activity together, tiny with Lazada or the campaign, right? Just join, and then uh, towards to 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 the sales campaign, right? Ourselves, I think the bookseller have to do different way, right? Like for example, right now we are doing the uh, live sales every alternate every Sunday and as well as we have a product video clips. If you guys want to know more, right, you can uh, log into my Facebook, JC Medication to have a look. So far, our first two, first two video clips, right, the response uh, sending back the uh, inquiry, right, would be actually better than before during the COVID times, right. We just like on the offline downline kind of a promotion, promotion, advertising, it, it doesn't work. But the live itself, right, it really brings back all the inquiry. Mm. 
So uh, maybe uh, I just want to explain more on uh, the ideas that I have. I was thinking like if we let's like say we do a, a book bazaar, so we can actually have uh, three options. One option is like uh, buyers can actually go direct, go back to your to your to your platform. If let's say they are a strong follower of like let's say uh, maybe uh, World Science Scientific, right? So the other option is like they can also opt to buy maybe from Amazon. Maybe they have a free delivery that they want to tap on, or they have an account with uh, Amazon. Or maybe they like to actually take advantage of Lazada. Okay, they're offering like a $5 discount or, you know, some discount, some kind of like benefits. So it's like um, a kind of like uh, uh, options for all to actually decide where they want to go. But I think most important, they have decided to buy your book. Yeah. So whether they want to buy from who, it, it doesn't matter. It's still yourself. So this is what I want to do. Secondly, I think... Uh, I have actually tied up with, uh, I mean, I'm in discussion now with uh, National Library. They say that uh, they are very keen to actually help us to promote our video, okay? Our video meaning, uh, like publishers, if you can create any video, okay? Uh, I need to actually put this together and then to introduce like, uh, you know, like, like I said, <laughs> NLB, we want to promote reading, right? So it's like kind of like promote your content. So I have this book, you know, the story about what, you know, if let's say we, we, we can actually produce the video and then they are quite happy to share with us, uh, share into their platform. And uh, for this event, like I say, uh, what we can do is that we can do a lot of live show. Live show meanings like uh, we can um, schedule all the live uh, program. It's not recorded live program so that we can have more interactive with our audience. So these are some of the highlights that uh, we can actually uh, bring in the attention uh, for, for consumers to come in. At the same time, we will also have some seminars being incorporated. So it's like quite a hybrid kind of like a program, like got book sales, got uh, um, some seminars, you know, uh, some uh, storytelling, some activities. So everything uh, run in one platform, yeah, everything run in one platform and then directing um, the sales to, 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 to website, uh, to buyers. Once they, they, they interested, they click, they, they just go straight to, to the platform that they're interested to buy with. Uh, so um, in fact, um, I'm targeting to do organize this uh, end of November. And I'm uh, also talking to uh, ESG and IMDA see how they can actually come in to fund the platform. I mean, it's not going to be cheap. I mean, like, the uh, book award is not going to be cheap, but then um, it will something like uh, can get the uh, market attention. That would be quite good, yeah. But I think for, for this round of uh, campaign, I, I hope to actually drive sales. Uh, yeah, I hope to drive sales. So I can actually uh, do something that is... Um, uh, quite a uh, low profile like the World, World Book Day or we can actually drive something that is uh, bigger to, to get uh, some funding to get into a, a bigger spec platform. Now. So um, I'm, I'm not very sure, uh, can I have some feedback on the 3D uh, virtual uh, book uh, uh, design concept? Oh, Cecilia, uh, yeah, just some feedback, uh, you know the SPH um, book fair, they took the event online. Um, so in June, they did they did the book fair online. They had panel discussions on, I think, Zoom. Um, and they also ran an online store, right? Actually, I think the traction is not very good because it's a lot to, you know, you are not a video production house. It's very hard to build up the expertise overnight. Um, and they are already kind of tapping on the whole marketing um, capability of SPH, Chinese Media Group. So I think if uh, SPPA wants to make the effort to do something, if you guys are spending a lot, try to do it as a long-term thing. You know, like say it can be our, it can be a much more enhanced, um, like like say the we have the directory, the members directory, right? Maybe it can be a much more advanced um, storefront, for publishers. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so since uh, we are on the on the same page, right? I just want to share this uh that uh uh with uh with you. Okay. So um uh, in fact um like I said I have did some study on a different uh, uh book fair across the market across the market and some of them is like um they have 
Okay, you can you take a look at this like two platform or one platform. So I guess the 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 Singapore Book Fair is a uh, two platform. I think one of the weakness is that they focus a lot on Chinese book, uh, not so much on any other type of books. So maybe the 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 target audience size is much smaller. So secondly, I think for Thailand, they have a very very successful events, but they they are very powerful because their their number of exhibitors are really a lot. So they are, the visitor is a lot. You know, when they do a physical show, they have one million people visiting the book the book fair. So it's very hard to get that kind of like scale. And then uh, of course we have Indonesia and Manila are also doing a platform like this. But what do you think about uh, this kind of a virtual book fair? Or do you think it works or it doesn't work? I really need some feedback for this. Mm, okay, from experience, I, I don't think it will be so effective. As in, I think it can be, as in, I think all of us know this. La. Like say Jay was talking about doing Facebook Live sales and all that, right? Um, the, the more sophisticated the the interface, right? Sometimes the less people will use it. Okay. So like, let's say if we develop something very sophisticated for a consumer facing um, event, right? Actually, they, they might not engage, you know, because if they can't get it the first few seconds, right? Um, and if we don't kill, as in we don't uh, educate them before they enter the event, right? They'll be very lost. So... I quite agree with uh, Lee Ying, because uh, let's say, for example, mm. the book fair, right? I was, uh, last year's sales would be 50,000. And then right now, go to the virtual, right? My sales only 2,000 plus. So, mm -hmm. it is a, it's a very huge drop. But uh, no matter how, right, I was still think that, that, that there is a way to do it. But uh, just need to, you know, what way? <laughs> yeah, we need to find what way in order to hit the, 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 mm. the audience. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think I think if let's say we talk about book sales, right? I think this is just I I personally feel that it's very uh, uh virtual is not very like consumer friendly also because when you go in you turn here turn there you get very lost. I rather have a like a, a platform, okay, like a, a a Facebook Live platform, and then you just focus on uh talking selling your book, okay? I will you know you promote this book, you promote that book. I think that will be more uh, straightforward. Would you would you think uh, that would be more straightforward instead of like spending so much money on like this kind of like virtual setup? What do you think? I, I would think that direct selling would be better law. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. If, yeah, if so you ask if, me, if, if SBPA can give us like um as in, you know, to to help us engage the press and publicity for the virtual events and then SBPA can host the, the virtual event then for the publishers to join I think that would be quite helpful so that when the publishers join we know that we can get more reach and more exposure than if we do it on our own for example uh, okay, yeah. so in this case uh, I, I think maybe it will be easier because uh, if you let's say work on, on this kind of like virtual right the setup cost is like close to like 20 30,000 so let's say, for example, we don't do this, okay, we just go ahead and just, you know, engage audience from uh, social media, but we have like a timetable, okay, we work out a very good timetable, like uh, of on the which day, you know, onwards, we got like every day we have a program for 10 days. Lah. I think I'm working on a 10-day schedule and then uh, with, with this branding and then these 10 days, like every day we have uh, something that is happening, you know, some promotion is doing, some uh, live that we do is like we throw out uh, freebies and promotions and then we have a big prize. I think that will be quite, uh, I think it's good enough, right? It's good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, instead of like sp uh, spending money on that car, like virtual thing. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think I think the the event can be very simple, but it's more like say if you all can engage the the publicity law, like you know schools, parenting magazines, uh, bloggers, um, Straits Times, mainstream media, everything. That will be the most helpful to the publishers, law, I think. The the media lah, the media support, right? Yeah. yeah, of course now it's very like support local brands. There's this kind of feel, I mean, there's, this, there's a lot of movements going on now, right? So if you have a very strong like, okay, support local reading, support local lit, support local writers, um, 
and make a very powerful publicity campaign, then the event can be simple, you know, can be just a series of, uh, you know, like live streams or whatnot. We don't need, uh, we don't really need a, a, a virtual thing, right? We only need a screen, right? Correct or not? Yeah, just Facebook, or do on Facebook. Okay, okay, okay. Can, mm. I think uh, um, this is a good feedback because i also very skeptical about like those virtual like uh, activities uh, because uh, you, you're not very sure after 20,000 and then whether it got returns or not. At least we start on Facebook, it's everything free. <laughs> but I think in terms of program, like, we need some someone to help us to, to put the things together. So um, probably I, I need to actually uh, invite some, uh, maybe linking to, to, to join us uh, as a small committee then we can actually uh, uh, plan out this uh, whole program. La. We just do it like on... Okay, what happened is um, some of the ESCO, uh, they think that uh, we should not do commercial activity under SBPA. Yeah, this one you all need to discuss. Uh. Mm -hmm. I honestly think it's quite high. It's, it's in this... As in, SBPA is a trade association. Not right. all trade associations are, are consumer facing. Uh, so we, in fact, even if I host this uh, program uh, in our Facebook, it, it, it don't serve really the, the, the purpose, you see, unless like we have a new Facebook thing, thingy to, to talk about. Um, Maybe I can suggest something. You can use the SBPA and help everybody to push up the sales by using the voucher. That means that, uh, let's say, for example, you have a 10 days, right? Then each publisher will be uh, have a chance to introduce their, their publication, their books or magazine. And then the consumer, right, they can uh, use this voucher, right, to link to whichever, uh, like for example, you can create a link to all the products, then they can use the voucher to buy the books they want. Now. It's a platform for everyone. It's something like the, 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 yeah. But the buy selling so is standard, you see. No, you can something like the, the, you know, the Z shop, the SPH, they have a Z shop. You can come out a uh, SBPA one, a link. You can just use a simple uh, Shopify, Shopify here. You just create uh, uh, all the product, all the publisher products over there. Then they can use the voucher to buy it. No? Like the voucher, right? You, uh, whoever the publisher, right, can help to link up with the school to give it to students. Then they can just use it directly from the, from the platform. No? If, if you think in the big picture for every publication, uh, not into uh, commercial, this is what I'm thinking. Like, I'm not sure whether it works or not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will take, take note of all the suggestions. Uh, but what uh, I think uh, we have in mind is to run the book promotions. So how this uh, promotion is going to actually, um, what platform we're going to do. Uh, I think to, to start an e-commerce site, I think it's a bit too too hard to do it at this moment. To start a Facebook page, I think it's a, a lot easier, a lot easier. And um, we can have a, a lot of like, the it, it cannot be like, a, it's a branding of like Singapore Book Bazaar instead of like SBPA. Yeah, so it will be much easier and all the participating uh, um, so-called uh, partners or publishers, like we, you have uh, allocated uh, certain time slots to do your promotions and it will be like a uh, schedule, you know, accordingly. Like I think I did quite well for the book award uh, 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 trailer. It was uh, very interesting. A lot of people, we have quite a lot of uh, reach out for, for that. So we can have uh, something like that, like uh, uh, every day that is a, a time slot for, for this type of like programs that we're going to run. Yeah, maybe for that, yeah. Mm. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, I think Ling Ying, uh, you have another meeting to go. Okay, goodbye. So Betty, thank you for coming. Betty, are you there? <laughs> Joey, uh, thank you for joining me. Agnes, thank you for joining me. Um, so uh, I will actually come back again on the program, on the training program and uh, engage you again. Thank you for, for all the times that you have. Thanks. Okay, I will say goodbye. I will have to end. If you all don't say anything, then I will end this meeting uh, in two minutes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jay, very much. Thank you very much for your information.